leather on these, man. Fantastic. I think this was the type of leather that people were expecting on the military force, which means you should stop expecting stuff. Just allow things to come to you and then appreciate it. Or always expect the unexpected. Or expect the worst and hope for the best. Or I got nothing. <laughs> Just watch our videos and have fun. Hey, what's going on everyone? My name's Chris. Welcome back to the official weartesters.com YouTube channel. Today we got a detailed look and breakdown on these bad girls right here. This is the Air Jordan 3 in a brand new colorway dubbed the Georgia Peach. Even though on the box the color says Cosmic Clay, but hey, I didn't make the rules. I'm just relaying the message. But before we get into the shoes, this is the box. They come in a sale box, orange branding. Portions of it obviously are done up in elephant print and everything like that. So just in case you were curious. Oh, also, I guess I should point out that the paper is splatter print. It should be elephant print, but you know, it is what it is. And these bad girls right here are a women's release. And based on what I can see on sneakers, they go up to a men's size 10 and a half. So not technically extended sizes, but if you wear 10 and a half or under, then this is gonna be something that maybe you're interested in. As for the shoe itself, the outsole is typical standard Air Jordan three outsole and just in case you missed it sales back and it's on this colorway the midsole itself and the rubber areas are sale some people love this some people are tired of it feel free to sound off below and let us know which side of the fence you're on now the midsole cushioning itself is polyurethane. Inside the forefoot is an encapsulated air sole unit and in the rear is a visible air sole unit. They're really starting to cheap out on these insoles again, you guys, like this is crazy. The prices are going up, the quality and stuff like that and the craftsmanship here, there. Craftsmanship, I won't give them credit for. That's still too big of a hit or miss with every single release, even premium ones or, or collabs and stuff. But it's this, dude, you're back to serving sh they're doing it with the OG drops now too. The OG military blues came with a dream cell insole instead of what they should have come with, which is polyurethane. And yes, you could take it out. Yes, you could put in anything else that you'd like, but facts are facts, bro. You're paying a ton of money and that is what comes inside the shoe. Are you serious? Ugh. However, the upper is where this particular shoe shines. Not only is the elephant print regular nubuck like it typically is, and it's done the way that it should be, so I like that. And we've got a really nice leather on here. I think that the texture or the overall polyurethane coating, this is something that I really do like. I like it a lot. I do really like the tongue. This particular one has a messed up padding area in the back. It's kind of like warped or whatever, but it's something in the back so you'll never see it. But they're nice and thin. The material's tucked behind it the way that it should be, the way that the originals were. They've gotten the Jordan 3, in my opinion, down to where like obviously there, there's quality control issues, but overall these are solid releases damn near every time. I hope that the Jordan 4 is going to get that way and I hope that the Jordan 5 gets that way soon. Please! And the 6 and 7. The 8s were f***ed up last time in the playoffs. I know that everybody loved those, but now the rear has the Jumpman branding because it's not an original colorway, despite the original style color blocking. Does that bother me? No, it shouldn't bother anybody. If you've been buying shoes since they've had retros, that's how they've come. The Nike Air thing is fairly recent and I love that too. This brand has done a horrible job at teaching its new customers the history of the brand. And so now everybody looks at them in critical ways that are unwarranted. And I laugh, because you guys deserve that. <laughs> Now, as far as sizing is concerned, go true to size. You should be good to go. Whatever you typically wear with your Air Jordan 3s, that's what I would recommend. Just keep in mind that this is a women's release, so if you're a dude and you're trying to grab a pair, make sure that you convert your size to one and a half sizes up. So for example, if you wear a men's nine, you're gonna be ordering a women's 10 and a half. If you order something like this on sneakers, they've already got the conversion set up for you. But if you're ordering somewhere else or you're in store and you just don't know, make sure that they bring out the correct size. And with that being said, what do we have for today's question of the day? If there was a 50-50 chance that if you were bitten by a spider that you would gain spider-man's powers or you would die would you let it bite you yes <laughs> really yes. there's no hesitation no hesitation <laughs> can do it let's see what happens i'm down for this would you have us like line up and be there with you while you do it who's we myself like, and your children so you can witness my death well it's either we're gonna see like this crazy miracle or we're having to say goodbye to you no haven't you learned anything from spider-man you can't tell people your secret identity it's dangerous so you would just I would die off in a corner somewhere or all of a sudden I'd be jumping off the walls and shit. Yeah, it'd be f***ing amazing. No pun intended. You? I wouldn't. Why? Because. 50-50 is too much of a... Yeah, it's a huge risk. It's just one coin flip. You 
Yeah. That's it. That's it, man. I don't feel like I'm very lucky when it comes to coin flips. I'm not lucky at all, but that's a chance I'm willing to take. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, and are we talking about like organic webbing? We yeah. Don't, okay, because that's what I would want. I wouldn't want to have to make that. Sh I wouldn't know how. Go, 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 web, go. I'd just be leaping from things. So, so. you'd be Toby. I'd want to be Tobey Maguire's style of powered Spider-Man. I would be a little creeped out by the little like. But I could get over that because, you know, I'd be crawling on walls. It would be amazing. Super strength, agility, spider sense, a spider tingle or a Peter tingle. Please do not start calling it my Peter tingle. I would totally, totally let that spider bite me. And I'd probably act the same way that Miles did in that movie. Where you'd sing on the ceiling? Ah! No, where you'd freak <laughs> out all of a sudden like, oh shit, there's a spider. I used to be extremely afraid of spiders where I'd like scream, but uh, not anymore. I think it's because of them. I'm like the resident spider killer in this house. So if there's a bug of any kind, it's always dead. Oh yeah, no, having kids has definitely made me uh, take care of it right. so I don't have to hear them. My favorite thing to do now is to get an empty water bottle, catch it, scrape it so that it falls down, top it, and then throw the water bottle at them. And then they freak out like crazy. It's the best shit ever. It's like, yo, if you're gonna at least put me to work, I'm gonna make you pay for it. But anyway, sound off below and let us know what you would do. At a 50-50 shot, okay? So you got a really good chance of dying, but you got a really good chance of becoming Spider-Man. Which one are you choosing? The red pill or the blue pill? Well, no, nah, but the red pill, blue pill thing doesn't even apply. I know. Because it's like, hey, let everything stay the same or open your mind. No, I know. You get to like, no, no. Right. So yeah, scratch that. Yeah, Sorry. Not even, not <laughs> even a close comparison. You're, it, the, the, the thing is up front, kind of like this, 50% chance you die or. No, I know, but you don't know until it's a bit in you. Dude, it's a, it's a risk that I'm willing to take. That's a fun question. I would totally totally go for it. Can I just say before we leave, the interior sculpting is ultra thin this time. There's like nothing in there. It's kind of surprising. But anyways, with all that being said, sound off below and let us know which would you pick at a 50-50 shot. Would you get bit for a maybe that you'll get spider powers? I'm pretty sure everybody's gonna say yes. At least all the guys will. Or they'll just die. It's fine. It's a risk. That's like what we do every day. I know, but it's a really big, Anything men sure, do 50, on a daily basis, risk. you got a 50-50 shot of eating it. I almost want to tell a story about me changing our ceiling fan and how the power scraped my head had I not remembered to flip the switch. 50-50 shot, bro. Let's do it. And sound off below and let us know what you think about the Georgia Peach Air Jordan 3. Is this a cop? Is this a drop? Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. I hope that it was fun. I hope that it was enjoyable. Maybe you learned something about the product. Maybe you learned whether or not you want to grab it or not. But with all that being said, we will catch you guys on the next one. So until then, have a good one.